here today with Yasmin to chat about Copro and hear some fantastic tips from her about how to explain co-production to people who are new to it. It involves potatoes, which I'll admit is a new approach to me. So Yasmin, can you tell me something about yourself? Okay, so um, I've been a member of the Copro Collective since 2019, and I do feel like a veteran now. <laughs> um, so by profession, I'm a trained community organizer and a facilitator. So I work with the community, people in the community, residents, patients, and um, the public. Um, I work with a diverse group of people to empower them and to help them understand the importance of autonomy and uh, uh, building confidence and, and shot, telling them that uh, your your perspectives count as much as the next person. Okay, so what was it that led you to co-production then? Um, my experience with working with my community has led me to learn about the importance of uh, perspectives and how different they can be. More so the beauty of uh, bringing ideas and views together to enhance any project or task uh, simply uh, because of the rich information that is gathered through uh, co-production. So th that's what's led me to uh, this kind of work. Okay, Yasmin, I have to ask, what's with the potatoes and um, how do you use them to explain co-production to people who are maybe a bit new to it? So I personally found it very hard to explain co-production um, but I found it easier to demonstrate because I'm a kinesthetic learner and I, l I learn from doing things and visual, um, visual, visual learning. So I, I, I learn like that. So, um, so I came up with this analogy, this potato analogy, wow. and I realized it, it was such a simple demonstration, but it just explained everything so beautifully. <laughs> so we, we get a bag of potatoes we get a bag of potatoes, say in a meeting room, or um, any sort of uh, gathering where you need everybody's help. So you get a bag of potatoes and you give one potato to each person in the room and you tell them, make something with it, create a dish with it, make something with it. But whatever you make, don't keep it to yourself, bring it back to the table. So most probably no two person will say the same thing and if they do most probably it will be chips or mash or something and that My just favorite. shows how <laughs> and that just shows common thinking you know which mm -hmm. is fine we we do have common thinking um and then what you do is once you go around the room and you ask people like what would you bring so people you know it's amazing the ideas people come up with some would say mash chips you get the regulars but then you'll have a potato head you'll get a hedgehog or you'll get a potato stamp um and and then i asked this professor once as well and he said he's going to hide the potato and he's going to make his granddaughter find it so which was like totally outside of the box and then so if you just think about all these things rather than just keeping it to yourself you bring it to the table and then you ask everyone look at that table tell me what you see when you look at that table that's when you realize that's co-production you're creating a feast with everyone's ideas but with the same material or the same product, same issue, same problem, but it's everyone else bringing it to the table with their own perspective, you know, and their, their perspective can come from uh, can come from their background, their race, their upbringing, their uh, psychology, you know, it's 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 what you bring to the table that is, that is important. Um, yeah, so that's my potato analogy. <laughs> I have to say that is absolutely fantastic and I'm, I'm really excited to be making this video so that we can we can share it far and wide. Um, I have a feeling that the sales of potatoes amongst um, co-producers might be going up <laughs> fairly soon. So, <laughs> that is but you know, I have to say no other no other vegetable or no other fruit I couldn't <laughs> is, is as versatile as a potato. So <laughs> yeah, no, that, that does make sense, actually. Yes, yes, I think um, potatoes are um, they're a common staple. They they unite people in a way that, say, for example, courgettes maybe don't. <laughs> no, exactly, exactly, exactly. So it just shows that it can get a bit um, 
rough and tough uh, depending on the issue and option but mm. it just show it also shows that everyone does have a perspective yeah. about it and you know their perspective counts if you bring it to the table mm -hmm. and so is there anywhere else that you could maybe apply this analogy do you think of course um people that don't know much about diversity um inclusivity um and also breaking down hierarchies mm -hmm. um and uh, equality you know people that want to express that they can use this potato anal analogy and um it, it works the principle is the same it's yeah. about uh, uh listening to everyone's uh, perspective no matter where you are on the hierarchy or no matter how abled or less abled you are you know you can contribute and your voice and your perspective counts everyone is a potato at heart i think <laughs> <laughs> long live potatoes yay <laughs> Great, that, that's all fantastic. So um, how did people respond to your analogy when you started to use it? Well, it's rather simple. It's really simply explained. So there's nothing more to add, add to it. it. People got it straight away. They knew what I was talking about and they un understood it. Like, uh, you know how, how a glove would fit on your hand, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they understood it just, you couldn't make it any, any more clearer. Right, and that, and, that. and then everyone was like, what would I do? What would I cook today, you know, with a potato? <laughs> yeah. and, and do you tend to, to use this analogy right before lunch? So, <laughs> 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 well, thank you so much for joining us today, Yasmin. It has been absolutely brilliant chatting to you. And um, yeah, I have to say for such a simple analogy, it is actually so complex when you actually start to kind of break it down and think about it. And just think about the um, the nature of co-production and how everyone brings something to the table. So um, thank you very, very much for that. And um, happy co-production week, Scotland. Yay. Thank you very much for having <laughs> me, Tina. Um, and and uh, very, very good luck and well done to co-production Scotland. Thank you very much. <laughs>